Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a quick overview of how I made this image of a cassette tape in Photoshop. So the first thing I did was to create a new image, file new. Um, uh, this is going to be used as a background image for a YouTube video that's just audio. Um, so I used a film and video template for 1080p uh, HDTV. Obviously you can do it in whatever uh, dimensions you want, but that's what it worked for me. So you'll start out with an image that looks something like this. This is just a transparent background, nothing else on it. There's obviously quite a few layers involved here, so I've organized them into different bins here. Um, we're going to start from the bottom here. I've got two different backgrounds layered on top of each other, a white with another color on top of it. Um, I created this one at a uh, not quite 100% opacity because I was having trouble finding a color that I liked, so this this combination here helped me get where I wanted to be. Uh, the next thing was the casing for the cassette tape itself. So you want to get the dimensions right, obviously. Um, one of the things I had to do here was look up the dimensions of a cassette tape. I mean, I can kind of eyeball it, but I wanted to be more more precise here. It doesn't really matter what the dimensions themselves are. We're really more interested in the ratios. Uh, so 10 centimeters by 6.3 centimeters. I just took that and did the same thing times you know, a couple of zeros uh, or added a couple of zeros. So 1,000 by 630 here got me a rounded rectangle using the shape tool. Uh, 1,000 by 630 and I've got corners rounded at 30 pixels. I also threw on an, a drop shadow effect. I didn't end up using it in my final image but you know, whether you prefer a drop shadow uh, or just a flat vector image is just your own personal preference. Um, a cassette, I'm going to be jumping back and forth here between some images as well. So a cassette tape also has some little fins uh, on the left and right sides here. I'm not sure what they're called, but that's what they look like to me. Uh, so that's what I named them. I've got a left and a right fin. If you want to see them without the, the casing, they're basically just tall, skinny, uh, rounded rectangles. The corners were rounded at 5 pixels each, and then that black casing just goes right on top of them, or right behind them technically. Uh, those also have drop shadow effects. Um, then we're going to move on to the holes. So a uh, cassette tape has some holes at the bottom where it kind of locks in. Um, this one has all circles, but I think in reality they're generally circle and like a square or a rectangle. So I went with uh, right and left circles and then right and left uh, rounded rectangles. Just made sure that those were equidistant from the edges and kind of centered there. Um, so these are shape tools as well, an ellipse. Uh, a perfect circle and then rounded rectangles. These rounded rectangles I did at 10 pixel corners. Um, then I put a label. Uh, let's see, so we've got a big green label that goes in the middle. Um, that's, uh, there's, this is an opportunity for you to kind of do your own um, designs, whether you want rounded corners, you want sharp corners. I'm gonna show you a couple of variations because I, I did a couple of different versions. Um, so I, I started with just a green label with rounded rectangle corners at 20. I put a yellow stripe through the middle to add some variation to it, add a little bit of, make it a little more interesting. Um, I also put some lines at the top. Generally lines at the top were for people to write on, uh, especially if it was like a, a mixtape or something. Um, here I've got my variations and we'll go back to those. Um, later on in the video. Uh, so moving on, we've got the window here uh, where the tape is. Let's see if you're looking through. So I've got a border, which is just also a rounded rectangle, um, about 64 pixel corners here, and basically made it like a capsule shape. And then I've got a gray window inside that. I think if I was doing this over again, I probably could have just done one uh, one shape with um, a fill color and a stroke color on the outside. I don't know why I chose to do it as two different shapes. It doesn't really matter. 
Inside of that window, you can see on these uh, images here, uh, there's there's some ribbon, the actual tape of the tape. So if you don't know exactly how a cassette tape works, this is what it looks like on the inside, kind of. There's uh, tape that winds around these wheels and moves from one side to the other. So I like the idea of having them not symmetrical, just like some of these here. Uh, I think in a lot of images you'll see that they are symmetrical, but again I wanted some variety so I went with non-symmetrical. The way I did this was I created circle, just solid black circles and then I just cropped out a small piece of it and pasted it in here. Uh, and then the wheels themselves, so you've got a left wheel and a right wheel, just white circles with gray fill, or sorry, white stroke uh, gray fill. And then uh, I also created some black circle borders for these. I don't even think you can see them um, without the wheels themselves. Let's see here. So we'll say the left wheel border it adds a little bit to it, but not very much. Um, it's probably unnecessary, but it helped me when guiding. Uh, and then you've got teeth on this wheel so that it can kind of lock into the player itself. There's generally six, so I've got six on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And those are actually just rectangles, not rounded rectangles, regular rectangles very small and then rotated um, uh, and placed around the edges of the wheels. So we did the same on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that gives us the wheels. So I also wanted to put some uh, writing on top of these uh, lines for the labels. So I've got some text uh, right on top of this here. So I just went to Google Fonts, which is a great resource for some free fonts. I chose under Categories, I just selected Handwriting Only. Um, you can type something in here so if you want to get an idea of what a specific phrase looks like in a font. So let's say, Awesome Band Name. You can choose any font you want, but I just scrolled here for a little bit. It didn't take me very long to find one that I liked. I chose Permanent Marker, um, selected that, downloaded it, and once I installed it, it was quickly available in Photoshop here. And then I just typed these out and placed them on top of the lines. So uh, now you've got full image. We'll zoom in a little bit here to give you an idea of what it looks like. Closer in. Um, also going to show you these variations I was talking about. So on the label, um, I've got three other layers here that are hidden. So instead of having four rounded corners on the label, um, I, I did this uh, regular rectangle which has no rounded corners. Right here on the bottom, it just layers on top and then gives me sharp corners at the bottom. And I've got rectangles at the top here on the left and right. That give me 45 degree angle. It looks more like some of the, let's see, looks more like this. Uh, so you've got like a 45, and this is a little rounded here, but you know, some, some labels might be sharp. Again, that's all personal preference. I think this is my preference, the 45 at the top and sharp at the bottom. Uh, but if you just prefer rounded all the way around, that's that's acceptable too. It's just your call. You could probably also make these the same, these holes here the same color as your background. That might make a little bit more sense. I think it looks fine at white. So there you go. That's about all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoyed.